Hello everybody, this is Jody Johnson with Coffee with Jody. This is the 57th episode, which is very hard to believe, but nevertheless it is. And today I'm going to be covering integrating lean principles into professional services businesses and employee engagement and empowerment. For those of you who have been watching, you're clear that we've been focusing this year on how do the lean principles that we learned from Paul Akers early on in the pandemic apply to a professional services business? Well, we've been exploring this and deepening our understanding of it on a daily basis since April. And I will tell you that it's amazing and interesting what the simple invitation of fix what bugs you can do in a company. The idea of constant and never-ending improvement and what that can do in a company. Now, as owners, we're always thinking about how we can improve our businesses. But what I have found is that engaging the team brings a dimension that I could have never imagined. But what does it take to get the team empowered and engaged to embrace these kinds of ideas, especially when it's unclear how they will apply in the business. Well, the first place to look is in driving out fear. Now, most business owners are not deliberately and consciously trying to make their team members fearful. But let me share a statement that one of the clients I've worked with made recently and see what you think. He said, that was really good work and you know I'm never satisfied. So I wish we would have done this. There was a collective sigh in the room. The team had been working really hard and what they got left with was no matter what, it's never good enough and you're never good enough. When people feel unappreciated and afraid, they shut down they withhold their ideas because they don't want to be made fun of or told that they're not doing it right or good enough. And they make and hide mistakes, all of which is contrary to lean principles. In a lean environment, regardless of your industry, you want to have mistakes, things that don't work, things that are are, are bottlenecked or slowed down to be brought to the surface. So the way Alan Mulally says, they're the gems, they're the things that allow us to be making the improvements we need and want to be making in our business. But when people are afraid, that doesn't happen. We've been very focused in our team on these constant and never-ending improvements and lean principles. As I said now, all the balance of the year since the pandemic started. And I'll be focusing as we go into the new year on these ideas and how they apply, particularly to professional services businesses, because so many of our businesses are intellectual and uh, thinking types of businesses. So I'll share them with you. So as business owners and leaders, what there is for us to do is to look at how can we empower and engage our teams so that they contribute, are happier, and you know that happy, engaged, and empowered people have your business be a butterfly garden that attracts clients, customers, and team members to your business. That's it for today. If you like this, then please share it, subscribe, follow, and like it. Okay, bye for now.